to my channel and today I'll teach you how to create this simple modification for your Cargo Collective website. Uh, you cannot see the top of my browser, but uh, if I reload the window, um, every time after loading, uh, you will see a random image. Yeah, now you can see another one. And I use only three images, but you can use as many images as you want. So uh, you can apply this effect to a background image of your Cargo Collective website. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, an original source of this code I found on CodePen. Uh, user whose name is Sadness97, thank you very much. But of course I customized it for you, so you will be able to use it on Cargo Collective. Let's start moved all the code so we can start with a completely blank page. Uh, first thing to do is to upload your images. We're not going to upload them as backdrop files. Uh, we're going to use this file icon, click on it, upload a file and upload all images you want to use. Uh, I've prepared three of uh, three images and uh, well, uh, note that you need to compress them first. It's not a must, but it's just good to keep them small. Otherwise your loading speed will be too slow. Okay, uh, now I have three images here. I'm going to click uh, on the first one and copy its link. Then go to the file you find below this video and let's work with the first part. So uh, we have this link I've just copied and we need to paste it here. You can see the second line uh, source and be careful, do not remove anything un uh, which is not supposed to be removed and paste your link here. Also, uh, you need to use the same link uh, here as well. So find this line after variable images and the first line going to be the same as this thing. Okay, go back, uh, open your files. Uh, let's copy the second link. The second link is going to be here. So instead of my, uh, my links, you need to paste your own. And okay, the third one. And yeah, let's paste it here. Okay, it's ready. Copy this part and open in your code view. You need to paste it here. And uh, okay, I used three images, but you can use many, uh, like as, ma um, as many images as you want. Uh, but watch that uh, each image ends with comma here, but here the last image, uh, we don't have any comma. So if you want to, uh, let's say, make six images, you need to paste one, two, uh, three, for uh, like new lines like that, but watch that. Um, yeah, here we don't need to have a comma and here we need comma after each line, but I don't need them and I'm, I'm going to remove them and keep just three lines. Press OK. So now you can see something like that. And uh, here is the second part. Copy your CSS. That's how you can resize your image. Go to design panel, open CSS editor and paste this part here. So um, let me show you how to uh, change it if you need it. Uh, this is a placement. So uh, our image starts with the top zero and with uh, left zero. You can use uh, instead of left, you can use button or um, right. So that's how you can place it if, let's say, if you don't want to use this image as a background image. And also you can control its size. I used uh, 100 viewport width, 100 viewport height here, which means that this image fill uh, all this area. Uh, but instead of these um, measures, you can use pixels. Let me show you. So yeah, now you have a small image at the top left corner, uh, but you can control its size uh, as like how you want. It doesn't matter. And also if you want this image to be uh, not placed uh, at the corner just statically, let's say you have scrolling and you want this image to be always fixed in the top left corner. Instead of absolute, you can say fixed. 
and that will be uh, working and if every time I cannot show you here just because I don't have any scrolling but if I scroll down uh, this square this image will stay remain uh, the same place in the same position but I'm not I'm not going to show you this thing I'm just let me uh, go back uh, viewport width and 100 uh, viewport height okay so now we uh, have our image on the background once again and you can check how it works just um, uh, open your page and after reload uh, each time other image will be picked randomly and yeah you can proceed uh, working with this page as usually or you can paste uh, this code after everything else is done so it doesn't matter in which uh, place uh, this code will be paste so you can have your code of your page here or there it doesn't matter thank you for watching and follow my channel to get more tutorials about cargo collective and web design goodbye